So we're gonna look at a few different skills in today's video. The first skill we're gonna look at is muscle ups. The second skill is front lever. We're gonna look at back lever. We're gonna look at planche. We're gonna look at handstand push up. And finally, we're gonna look at human flag. The benefit of using resistance bands is that with the resistance band, you can actually do the full movement rather than just a progressionary movement. This means that you can get comfortable in that movement and you can develop strength in the right areas to actually go on to master the movement. It's also important to note that with the resistance bands, you have different strengths and different degrees of elasticity. So what this means is that different resistance bands will give you um, a different amount of assistance and different level of assistance. So green will give you the most assistance, purple, then black, and then red. It's important to have a range of different color resistance bands and different strength resistance bands because what you can do is then you can move from say purple to black to red and eventually then get rid of the resistance bands and then master the movements that we're gonna be going through in today's video. So before we start the video, I just wanna show you how we're gonna tie the resistance band around the bar whenever we use them. This will help because for every single skill in this video, you're gonna to need to use this technique. Okay, so to fasten the resistance band around the bar, it's super simple. All you need to do is put it around the bar, take one end, put it through the other end and pull to tighten. That's how easy it is. That's what we're gonna be using a lot to, in today's video. So let's get into it. The first one we're gonna look at is the muscle up. This is super simple. All you need to do is fasten the band around the bar, pull it down, put your feet into it, step on it, jump up, grab the bar, and then try and do your muscle ups. If you're not sure how to do a muscle up and you want some extra help and extra guidance, I do have a tutorial on how to do a muscle up. I'm gonna link it up here for you guys so that you can go and watch it if you wanna to learn to do a muscle up. The next skill we're gonna look at today is a front lever. To do a front lever, there are two different techniques for using a band to help you with the front lever. The first one is to fasten it around the bar, put your feet into the band and then go up into a front lever. This one is super easy for if you're using a high pull-up bar, um, whereas the other technique you won't be able to do on a high pull-up bar as well. The other way that you can use a resistance band for a front lever is to use it on a low bar. So what you do is you put, put the resistance band around your back, you put the resistance band around the bar, put your hands over the top of it, and then go into your front lever. So for the back lever, it's pretty similar to the second technique for the front lever you need to, instead of putting it around your waist though, you just put it around the bar. So put the band around the bar, hold on tight to it, and then do a kind of skin the cat movement where you bring your knees up into your chest and put your legs through and then initiate your back lever. Next skill we're gonna go on to is the planche. This is a great one to use the resistance band for because it's a very, very difficult skill and people often find it very hard to master. So these resistance bands really help for the planche. The way we do this is you tie it around a high bar, so you may be a pull-up bar. Um, I would recommend maybe at first using the green band, then going to purple, then black, then red. What you want to do for the planche is fasten the band around the bar pull it down, put it around your stomach, get down into um, your starting position for the planche and then lean forward into the planche. You can use the resistance band when doing a tuck planche or even the resistance band when trying to do a full planche. I like to use this because I can get a really good lean and I can stay in the position for a lot longer, which is really great for working the right muscles for the planche. The next skill we're gonna look at is handstand push-up. If you are fortunate enough to have two bands, what I like to do sometimes is to fasten both resistance bands around the bar and then you put your arms through the resistance bands on either side and therefore it will give you a very equal resistance and when doing your handstand push-ups it will be very secure and you won't have to come out of the movement to readjust. So the last skill we are going to go through is the human flag. To do the human flag with a resistance band, what you need to do is fasten the resistance band around the top of the pole. You should put your top leg into the resistance band around your inner thigh. Careful that it doesn't ride too high up because that can be quite painful and then kick up into a human flag. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. 
If you do not have your own resistance bands, you can actually buy them off my website at www.trainwithollie.com. So that's it for today. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you next week. Oh,